Everything's shaking. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Janet, and you're here at Fruit of the Vine Art Studio in Cincinnati, Ohio. Thank you so much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you being here with me. I'm going to do a little Easter wreath painting tonight. It is a painting. I'm not making an Easter wreath. But I'm going to do a really quick little painting. I'm hoping that it's going to be a pretty quick little painting. It's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to show you how to make a little wreath with a couple of simple little uh, repeating designs. It's very easy to do. So I'm going to tilt you down and I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to go ahead and get started. There, that ought to be pretty good right there. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. All right, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with some yellow. I'm just going to start and make the whole background on this yellow. I've kind of got a little penciled in design here. Maybe I shake it down real good. Let me just grab a quick brush. Just a little bit wet. And we're just going to paint the whole background in this bright, cheerful yellow. Really, you know, it gives you that Easter feel. With those bright pastels, and bright yellows. And this will give a really nice background to what we're going to do here. Let me get that hair off of there. I'm going to turn it this way for a moment. Try to make sure I'm getting a nice coat on here. <clears throat> Looks like I'm going to need just a little bit more for this corner right here. Or I can drag it out of my brush. That's what I did. I just worked it out of the brush itself. It had enough paint still in it. Okay, that makes a nice, cheerful background. Get this little cocoa hair off of there. I can see that. Okay, and I'm just going to take this brush and stick it in the water there real quick. I'm going to be using a small brush liner here. And I'm going to get me some dark green out. You can kind of see I've already got my little wreath design started. Just going to get some of this dark green here. And just starting, let me get that off of there. And yes, I am in view. I want to make sure I got myself in view. A lot of times I end up, I'm not in view anymore. I'm not sure you're not watch, being able to watch what I'm doing. I'm just going to draw a short line. And then I'm going to bring two stems out on this side. And one stem out on this side. Now, we're not going to worry about what we're putting on the ends of them at this point. We're just bringing a couple of stems out. And then we're going to make leave a little space in between. We're going to pull another one down here. Now, this time, since we put two stems and one over here, this time we're going to do the opposite. We'll put one stem on this side. Let me get just a little more green on my brush. And we'll put two on this side. And we're just going to keep repeating this pattern. We're going to leave a space in between. This time we'll have two on this side. And one on that side. Leave us a little space here. Oops. Let's 
just about like that. I'm getting them a little bit longer and longer as I'm going here. Two on this side. And one on that side. Leave a little space. One on this side. We're just going to repeat this for the entire circle. Now you wonder, how'd you get your circle drawn there? You want to know what I used? I used one of my bowls. I went and used a bowl and made myself a circle on my canvas. Easiest way for me to make sure it's a nice little round circle. Although it doesn't have to be round. There's nothing that says it has to be perfectly round. You could have a, a oval wreath. this side and one on this one one on this side there we go over here, two of them over here, leave a space, do just the opposite, almost looks like little pieces of corn, <laughs> like I'm making a little corn circle, I'm not making a little corn circle, okay, <laughs> just kind of looks like that. Could do palm fronds, couldn't you? That would be pretty. Make palm fronds all the way around it and then put a couple of flowers on there. Okay. Then we're just going to keep going with our green right here and I'm just going to make a line that comes up here with a wreath. And a line that comes right here. Put a little bit larger leaves on these. This one a leaf on this side. Another leaf right there. And a couple of quick little leaves right there. Okay. This is actually the bottom. This will be the bottom when we get done. It's going to be that way. But for right now, <clears throat> we're going to let that sit for just a second. We're going to get out some pinks. Let me rinse this off. the tip of this. I'm going to use the, the handle right here and I'm going to dip it in magenta and then I'm just going to make five little dots. Now on the next one up I don't want to put it on this exact same spot so I'm going to put it on a spot. I'm going to just put it on this side and we're going to put one of these on each of our little stems going around 
the outside of our wreath. Now this one I'm going to put up at the end of here. There we go. Real simple way to make the dots. Just using the tip of the handle. Make that one just a little bit bigger. And we're just varying where we put it. We're not, it doesn't have to be exact. There's no exact rule that says it can't be in the exact same spot on the next one. But it can be anywhere you want to put it. Just, just, you're trying not to put it in the exact same spot on each of these branches. That's the idea. And hello there. I forgot to turn that off. I thought I had it on silence. Uh, once again, I don't. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. I need a little more pink for that. Getting a little far off the edge. Okay. Okay. Going to give that a little moment, and while that's drying, I'm going to get out a little bit of light green. And let me see, I think I'm going to need a little bit of brown. Not too much. Okay. I'm going to start by just putting a little bit of brown right in the middle here of this little flower. Let that sit and work in there a second and dry. There we go. And I'm going to be working in this middle area too. I'm going to be using some brown in there. That still kind of shows, doesn't it? I might have to put a little more yellow, a little more paint in that area. But that's okay. We're not going to worry about that right this second. I'm too busy trying to decide what I should do next. Let me get a little bit of this light green. And I'm just going to pull it right along one side here. Just pull it, pull it. Bring it right through here. Just to give that a little bit of a highlight. On that branch, that might be a little bit of a too light of a color for it though, honestly. Ah, I think it'll be okay. 
It'll look all right. Just putting a little bit on just one side as a highlight. Using an apple tart. Don't want to get it too thick. I'm trying to keep it a little thin looking. And I didn't want to do it after I got the whole little stem painted. Gonna put a highlight on these little leaves. Just on one side. And we'll draw a little bit of the highlight in between. Just a little bit. get some white. No, I don't know. I think I'm going to use purple. Purple will show up better. Just going to make a little purple flower coming out. Doesn't have to be anything special. It's just dotted is all I'm doing is just pushing down and going around. Remember to kind of alternate sides. And just by making a simple repeating pattern, you're making a really pretty wreath with hardly no effort whatsoever. Now we're going to put this one over here on this side, but we'll put him a little further down. Excuse me. Over here. Just kind of bringing it around in a circle, just pressing it down and making a little flowery look. See how it's looking so far? Kind of pretty. Gonna have to get me some white. I'm gonna have to get some white out. Just a little. Okay, now where's my regular brush? Hmm. Not sitting over here anywhere. Well, then we'll use this brush. And I'm going to get me some white. And I'm just going to bring it right around through this. Middle part. 
card. I'm going to do the flower petal in this white. Just making a hat, you know, almost a circle here. Not a complete circle, but just bringing it out and making a petal. I'm hoping I'm still in view. Yes, I am. Good. Just bring that right around this way. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. We're getting so close to Easter. I'm going to get a little bit of the magenta right on the tip of my brush here. And I'm just going to... That was a little more than I wanted. That's all right. Just kind of bring it this way, kind of trying to leave some white in the middle. And I know I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and paint it, paint it. And then we'll work on shading it differently. That's all right. That'll make that pink show up better. Same thing over here. Let's get the white. Maybe we'll mix it with the pink, huh? Make it a lighter color. Get the light and the white pink and the white together. Bring it around. One more here, getting some white. See how I did that? I just sort of brought it around, just smooshed it around. It just made me a little petal. Very easy. Okay, so we got two little pink flowers. Rinse that off. Okay, now I'm going to take this white. that the white's going to show up bright. Maybe I should do that in a different color. Pale blue will do. We'll just use all the colors. <laughs> Hey, Yvonne, thanks for joining me. 
Hope you're having a good evening. I'm just going to add this little bit of blue right in here. We'll give that a second to dry, too. And then this one will have another little smaller thing on the top of it. A little round circle. And just a smaller little thing on the top of it. They're not any kind of specific flowers, and they don't have to be any kind of specific flowers. They're whatever you want them to be. Whatever you want. But for now, we're just making a little circle, and then we're going to make another smaller circle on the top of it. On this one remaining little branch on our area. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll hold it up for you in a second here. Get where I'm going. Okay, now you can kind of see the little flower pattern just going around the outside of it. So it's just a repeating pattern and all you're doing is varying where you're putting the same little design on each one of those little branches. And that's all I did to that. Very simple, very, very easy. bit of the white here. Gonna, I don't want a bunch of water on it. I'm gonna get that off of there. I'm gonna just pull that off. Let's move that out. Hmm. There's water sitting on the top of that white. Just lift that up. All right, we're going to get it here. Just a little bit of highlight to the petals. It's almost like a little arrow. Now, I'm not trying to make these look realistic in any sort of way, folks. They're just, just flowers, just fun flowers. Just for fun. And on this other side, we're going to put another white highlight.
just to bring that out a little bit, give it a little bit of a pop there. Not sure if I want to do that or not. I'm not going to. Okay, so now we got to get to where we're working on this middle part here. And I'm going to need, let's see, I need some gray. I'm going to have to work in there. I'm going to put some stuff in there, I guess, around that. I'm going to use a dark gray. And I'm going to bring this X up. Point down here. And then nail head. This one to a point going in this direction. And add the nail head. I'm going to move over to my next X. I'm just going to move. This one's going to come down in this direction. Trying to get my nails straight. And make him long enough. Okay, put my nail head on. He's a bit smaller X, isn't he? You know, one small X and one big X. Hey, Mary. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. It's X's and O's is what we're doing here. And this is our Easter painting. Representing the love that Christ has for us and that God has for us. Okay, now I need to get me some, some brown going over here. And now for this part, I don't want a bunch of water getting in it and making a big old mess, neither. Wipe that off. For this, we're just going to bring this around and around. And we're going to do it a few times here. Let's see some little separate areas of it there. Maybe a little piece just coming off the edge here like that. A little piece. 
these in here. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing here. Of course, make the one circle. Give it a few pieces. And then, of course, we've got to give it thorns. Sticking out of it. This is the crown of thorns. Some on the outside. Don't want to get too carried away, but I want you to be able to see what it is. Let me put some thorns on this one. Going this way and a couple going that way. Make a couple over here. Maybe another one over here. Am I getting carried away? I might be getting carried away. I might be getting carried away doing that. <laughs> Sometimes I have to stop myself from what I'm doing. I get carried away with what I'm doing. Get going and it's like, oh, nope, you got to stop now. You're going doing too many things. You're just going crazy with it. Okay, so now we got to let this dry just a little bit. And while that's dry, and we're going to put a little bit of Let me see here. Let me turn it this way. You can still see a little bit of my pencil mark there, and that's kind of aggravating to me. I don't know why it's aggravating me, but it is. A little bit of purple dots right around in here. little bit of purple coming up. Nope, I'm not sure I'm liking that. I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that. You know what we do there? Give that a second let it dry. I need something... I need something lighter to go in there. Where's my yellow? Maybe that's what I need to lighten that up in there just a little. Hmm. 
Nope. Gotta shake it down hard. <laughs> Couple of little yellow dots in the middle of the flower. I think I like that a little better than I do adding the purple to it. I didn't like adding that purple at all. We'll just wait and take this and just make it go away. See, that's what I love about acrylics. You make something you don't like on there, well, give it a moment, let it dry. Just paint over top of it. It'll be fine. It won't look bad. Put the brown back in the middle. Waiting on that to dry there. And then just put a couple of little yellow dots in the middle of it. There. there you'd never know I even put any purple on it gone. <laughs> oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Yvonne. Okay, now I'm going to just add a little bit of highlight to it here is really all I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little bit of white. right here and right across through here and bring it down this way do it the way I wanted it to. Of course not. It's all right. It looks good enough. Let me see. I need to turn it this way so I can get to it without touching that. Without touching that, and just make a little bit of a T shape right here. And then we're just going to make a line in here and a line in here just to separate the crown of thorns in a couple of spots. And to help lift it up just a little to where it, you can see it a little better as to what it's supposed to be from a distance. A little there. across the top just a couple other thorns just putting a little bit of white on them
I don't know if I need to do anything else to it, if I should just let it stop right there and be done with that. I think that's really all I need to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think I'm going to leave it just the way it is. I appreciate you being here with me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful Easter this weekend. I'll be back again on Saturday. Or if I'm not here, I'll make something. I'll have something to play for you. In one of them ways, one or the other. How's that? I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you again real soon. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Yvonne. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Bye.